for now is our salvation nearer, but our faith shall be tested. I'm going to give all the honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Yahweh Chakwadash. Double honors to my elders at Great Millstone, talking the truth through the Spirit, single honors to the elect, peace and blessings to the one third, and confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth shall warm. Romans 13 11. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. And the reason why I brought this precept out because it says that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Why is it nearer? Because you measure the time diligently with prophecy. And as you can see on the screen, what do you see? The World Economic Forum saying that in order for you to participate in society, you're going to have the what? Have what inside you? Your right hand on your forehead. The Haragma. That's how we know it's near. But the thing about it is, this is what we've been hoping for. So to know these things are going to come, this is not the time for us to lay down. It's not the time for us to get rest, you know, to, uh, to rest and to, to take a hiatus. No, you can't. I mean, I even starting with myself right now, you know, because the elders have been talking about this for decades. And like the scripture says, humility comes before honor. And the men, those men, those great men were ridiculed, humiliated, and they just kept saying, hey, this is what's going to happen. This is what's going to happen. It's going to be a major prophecy, major prophecy. People walking around frolicking and everything. This Even before 9-11, um, all of that. Then after that, when YouTube hit, it was out on, what, 34th and 7th. I mean, I dealt with all the books. Anybody could come up, ask any question. They breaking it down. Going to scripture, you can coordinate, strongs. History, life lessons, breaking it down, having that, literally breaking bread. Doing that, going back to YouTube 2006. The elder's been, the elder, elder apostle Tahar from the elder apostle Tahar was at um, One West before I was even born. And I've been roaming this earth for over three decades. And these men are still going strong and speaking the same thing because one plus one will always be two. And remember what the word truth in Hebrew is pronounced. It's pronounced a moth. So numbers don't lie. The Lord is prophecy. But remember, Acts 14 and 22, confirming the souls of the disciples. This is confirmation. And exhorting them to continue in the faith. So the souls of the disciple shall continue in the faith. And that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of God, the kingdom of Yahweh. Listen here. It didn't say through tribulation. It says through much tribulation. People loosely say, I had to go through heaven. I had to go through hell to get to heaven. But at the same time, you in hell and you turn it into your heaven, Babylon. Right? That's what you've done. And we're telling you the evils to come. Much tribulation. Because the kingdom of heaven is ours. But the Lord must bring forth this judgment. For the ungodly and the unbelievers. Because the Lord said he can start at his house first. IUIC, IUCPK, GMS, um, GOC, AOCC. Because no, no one's exempt from judgment. In every group there's a mold. But then guess what? I'll tell you this in almost every group. I have to say almost. There's someone that truly believes. Someone can have a zeal without a core of knowledge. That's a difference. But why, why, why y'all not warn these people of, of this? This is major prophecy. Like, you can't buy. So how are you going to eat? How are you going to dream? Where's your faith at? And man, that's vain. You worship the creature more than the creator. So you're talking about going days without what? Eating, maybe drinking, having a nice shower. Or what about your favorite, you know, Tresemme, you know, shampoo, you know, 
or um, you know your L'Oreal conditioner, or maybe you like you know um, that curl cream for your hair for your waves, you know, Durax, hundred dollar, two hundred dollar, three hundred dollar cologne, glasses. You know, I was going to buy a nice suit, went out to the club, buy a bottle section, got a hundred thousand dollar wilt, got the bling gold shining on them, glistening. Or all the ladies jockeying you. So you gonna give all that up? Huh? Y'all give all that up? Man, y'all not ready to, to suffer for the Lord, man. Let's go. Y'all gonna have hell to pay. Second Corinthians 4, 17 through 18. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. So what we going through, this is minuscule compared to what what our redemption will would appear to be, how we sh the 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 whew, the manifestation of the gratification, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying uh, of, of of prophecy, you know, just being you know one hundred because we're gonna be back into the you know to our stead, princes on earth, kings, Saint Corinthians four and eighteen. While we look not at the things which are seen. But at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal, and that's spiritual. And what did the Lord say? The Lord said, It says in St. John 4 22, it says, God is a spirit. 4 24. God is a spirit, and those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Facts. His word is true. What it says in St. John 17 and 17, it says, Sanctify them through thy word. Thy word is truth. Woo. Sanctify means what? Set apart. So we know our salvation is near because what does it say? Isaiah 34, 16. It says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. So when the elders are breaking out, that the Harak must see him, right? It says clearly it's a rock. It's, it's, it's plain to the it's playing to the righteous, but it's a stumbling block to the wicked. Man, y'all just being damn wicked. You're being damn wicked, man. Not one of these people. We're men just like you, but we have something that's divine as well. It's called prophecy. And you're you're withholding them people at having a vital chance at prophecy. Because guess what's gonna have to happen once you tell them about that sea hill? Now you have to now you have to preach faith to the fullest. And that's something we don't think you really have over there. Mr. Nathaniel, I ask you, PK, because y'all walk around like y'all, yeah, how was shy? That's very frightening to have that mind frame. The Wadi how about Shima Shah is not me. But nonetheless, Philippians chapter 2, verse 12 through 13. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with faith. Fear and trembling. Whether I'm here or I'm over there, you should always be find, should you, to try and find a way to reach that destination of salvation. That's faith. What are you doing to prove yourself that you're worthy, which we're not? We just unprofitable servants. That, that not worthy. Is you worthy? Yes, that you're worthy to get us a seat on that chariot. Cause your house shot gonna crown us. Yahweh house Sharatiza. Think about that. Crowd. It's like being knighted by one of the knights at the twelve, the uh, Arthur's King Arthur's table. The night, the 12 nights at the round table. Come on, man. You can't make this stuff up, man. That's us. If you got to seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling, like the scripture says, only one man can go in at a time. And there's fire on one side and there's, and there's, and there's uh, water on the other. And you know what's symbolic about that? The Lord, the Lord that had the world reserved onto water, this time unto fire. So the man walking through in the middle, guess what? That's us between a rock and a hard place. That's us between much tribulation till we are done what? Brought through the fire because two parts therein shall be cut off. 
And y'all not listening. Yeah, this world is beautiful. So, Revelation chapter 3, verse 10 through 11. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, we've kept his word and suffered with it. Started with the elders of Great Millstone on down. That's why I mentioned how over the decades they kept preaching the same thing and kept suffering all kind of quote unquote to the world humiliation. They got doxxed. They what they worked at, the men's real names, you know, people. I mean, they went that low because they couldn't deal with them in the spirit in the scriptures. Now, what about all you people who try to put us false? false um, narratives on those men about the whole grape issue in the damn Bible. Come on. Ain't none of y'all going to make a video and say I apologize other, to the elders of Great Millstone and like-minded men. Y'all not going to do that. Why? Because of pride. But remember, humility comes before honor and pride go before destruction. So the humility that the elders and like-minded men like myself on down I'm, let, me, let me say that correctly. Like the elders and like-minded men including myself on down all right, make sure I say that right. It, listen, at the same time, all we want to do is get salvation. The Lord said, warn them. The wicked going to perish. They're going to die in their wickedness and their iniquity. But I don't require the blood from your hand. But if you don't, they're going to die anyway. But now I require it. Why? Because disobedient is as the sin of witchcraft. You disobey what the Lord said to do. It's that simple. Don't hide your talent. Give all diligence to make your calling and election sure. Revelation 3 and 10 through 11. I'll read it again and I will close out. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience and also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world. All the world. All the world. W-E-F. Just said it. Which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. To try what? Your faith. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. That being said, pray you that fine fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it. Just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Quran, Allah. Muflam, Shalom.